right now, the search continues for the gunman who killed 18 people and injured 13 others. Oh, I forgot to at talk to you. Two that separate shooting scenes in Maine. That's right. The suspect, a firearms instructor and army sergeant, has been on the run since the mass shooting last night. And these shootings happened in Lewiston, about 30 miles north of Portland. Now, investigators say that those shots were fired at a local bar and a bowling alley where a children's league was taking place. ABC's Morgan Norwood is in Lewiston now with the latest on the manhunt. A massive manhunt underway after mass shootings at two locations in Lewiston, Maine, left at least 18 people dead and 13 others wounded. The first 911 call coming in around 7 p.m. from a local bowling alley that was hosting a youth night for a kids' bowling league. We have an active shooter. We have multiple injuries. Authorities releasing these surveillance images showing the suspect they're looking for. His name is Robert Card, and he's pictured armed with an AR-15 style rifle. Mr. Card is considered armed and dangerous and police advise that Maine people should not approach him under any circumstances. Megan Hutchinson and her 10-year-old daughter Zoe were at the bowling alley. Zoe's leg grazed by a bullet. I never thought I'd grow up and get a bullet in my leg. Why? Like, why do people do this? After allegedly shooting several people inside the bowling alley, Card is believed to have traveled about four miles to a local bar and restaurant. Sources tell ABC News that Card has a history of military service and is a firearms instructor. He was treated at a mental health facility over the summer after allegedly saying he was hearing voices and threatened to shoot up a National Guard facility in Maine. We also have an incredibly strong laser-like focus on bringing this suspect into custody and ultimately to justice. Authorities discovering Card's white Subaru around 11.30 p.m., just eight miles from Lewiston's crime scenes. Multiple communities on alert being asked to shelter in place, and some nearby schools have closed for the day. You and me and all these people standing here, we, we all got a fear for our lives today, and it's not the way it's. I grew up. And according to the Gun Violence Archive, there have been 565 mass shootings just this year alone, with last night's being the deadliest. The president ordering flags at half staff as the communities continue to heal and grieve. In Lewiston, Maine, I'm Morgan Norwood, Channel 6 Action News.